historically we have been very focused on the antibiotic space, particular IV antibiotics for re resistant superbugs. But we really believe that as we've commercialized Cubicin, one such product, that our capabilities have really expanded to include um, any acute medicine, a medicine that's delivered for a relatively short period of time in a patient who has lots of health issues going on. And we think Entereg and Adalor fit beautifully into what we do very well. And uh, now, Adalor has had a rough year. They lost the you know, $260 million deal with Pfizer. Um, GlaxoSmithKline sold, right. you know, sold, sold the drug back to them after they had helped them develop. What can Cubis do for Adalor that those other two drug companies couldn't? Well, I think there's a couple of things here. Um, one is our commercial footprint is really very focused in the hospital environment. And Entereg is clearly a hospital product that's used when, for patients who've under, who are planning to undergo um, bowel resection surgery. So that's exactly what we do every day. We live in the hospital. We know how hospitals make decisions. We know how to define the intersection and articulate the intersection between quality clinical outcome and reduce costs for the hospitals. And we think Entereg has the opportunity to do that. We believe we can make this a $100 million drug in the US. With respect to the pipeline, we're a very focused company. This will be our third phase three program to add in, in 5945. And again, it's a part of that market that is uh, uh, delivered around the hospital that we think we bring exceptional expertise to there. Again, we're not Pfizer, we're not GSK. We're a very focused organization that knows how to deal with these very complex diseases in patients that are acutely ill as opposed to more chronic kinds of meds. And now, now the bio uh, price per share is 4.25 um, right. with the CPR of potentially a 450 per shareholder. Correct. Uh, why is this a fair price? Well, we think it's a very fair price. Um, $4.25 represents a pretty significant premium to what Adalor was trading at, at the last day, uh, Friday, last week, where they closed at 192. So it's a significant premium there. From our perspective, it represents about 2x what we think we can get in terms of Entereg, uh, annual revenues. Um, so we think it's very fair. And the CVR, the CPR, is, a, is we think a very effective vehicle to allocate risk and reward for this development program, which we're very excited about, but still has sign significant risk, both in terms of execution of the clinical study, but importantly as well on the regulatory side. So we've structured the CPR to allocate that risk and reward between the, the shareholders of Adalor and the shareholders of Cubist. Uh, now, law firm has recently announced that it'll be investigating Adalor uh, for fiduciary, fiduciary responsibility. Are you concerned about that at all? I'm really not. I think, you know, of course, I wasn't in the Adalor boardroom and so forth, but having gotten to know the company over the last number of months, I think that they were very diligent in assessing the range of options um, that were available to them to, to do right by their shareholders and concluded that this was really the best situation that they could execute. 